In this video, I'll go over setting up a simple, beginner-friendly media server on a Synology NAS using packages available from the Sino Community Package Repository. Specifically, we'll cover downloading movies from a Usenet server using SabNZBD, then integrate Jellyfin into the setup to automatically make the movies available once downloaded. First off, if you aren't familiar with Usenet newsgroups, they were originally set up as an online discussion forum in the late 1970s and predates the modern internet. Users would post and read public messages organized in a vast hierarchy of topics. Along with text-based discussions, Usenet newsgroups also support binary file sharing, including images, videos, and software that are uploaded to the alt binaries newsgroup hierarchy. These are the newsgroups we'll tap into in our setup. To download binaries and specifically movies for our purpose, we'll need to set up three things. An indexer, which we'll use to search for the file we would like to download. The indexer provides us with an NZB file, which is essentially a map of all the binaries that need to be downloaded to recreate the complete file. We'll need a subscription to a Usenet provider which is where we'll download the files from, and an NZB downloader that downloads, verifies, and extracts the files, producing the binary or movie that we want. There are a few providers and applications to choose from from each of these, but for this video, we'll use nzb.su as the indexer, usenet.pro as the Usenet provider, and as mentioned earlier, sabnzbd as the NZB downloader. For nzb.su, you'll need to visit the website, register for an account, and pay for a subscription. I personally signed up for the VIP account and paid for a year, which cost $15. For usenet.pro, they have an interesting subscription model that I really like. Their plans are all set up with unlimited downloads, and you pay for the speed that you want. For example, if your internet connection has a download speed of 100 megabit, then you'd probably want to get a subscription of 60 megabit or lower so you don't completely saturate your connection. They also have a discounted subscription plan if you don't need Usenet Newsgroup access 24-7. Usenet.pro also provides free SSL with every subscription plan, allowing for an encrypted connection between you and the Usenet.pro servers and allows you to share your account with others if you would like. I'll leave a link to both the nzb.su and Usenet.pro websites in the description below. The Usenet.pro link is also an affiliate link that you can use to sign up for a subscription, which helps the channel as well at no additional cost to you. At this point, you should be all set with a subscription to nzb.su and Usenet Pro, and now we can start the setup from within DSM. First, we'll want to set up the package center with the Sino Community package repository using the instructions available from the Sino Community website, which I'll link to in the description below. I also have a video I created a few years ago covering the Sino Community repository setup which I'll link to as well. Once the Sino Community Package Repository is set up, you'll have the Community section listed in the Package Center. Click on it and search for and install the SAB NCDP package along with Python, which needs to be installed as well. You can then continue through the setup, selecting the default options along the way. While here, install the Sino CLI video drivers, then install Jellyfin and FFmpeg. We'll configure Jellyfin later in the video after we set up Zab and ZBD and download a movie. Now you can launch Zab and ZBD from the main menu and start the quick start wizard. 
you'll want to select a language you'd like to use, then click Start Wizard. From the Server Details window, enter the host, username, and password from your Usenet.pro dashboard. Change the connection to 12 or whatever number is listed in your dashboard. In my case, I needed to change the certificate verification to minimal. Note that minimal doesn't sound secure according to the description, but this is due to the hostname not matching the SSL hostname used by Usenet.pro for the certificate, which I verified from this SAB NZBD wiki page that I'll link to in the description below. In any case, an SSL connection is being used so you can feel comfortable with the setup. Next, click Test Server, and if the connection is successful, click Next, then click the Go to Zab and ZBD button to complete the setup and bring up Zab and ZBD in your browser. At this point, we need to make one change to Zab and ZBD for our setup. Click on the Zab and ZBD config icon, then click Categories. Here, add movies to the folder slash path field on the movies row and click Save. This lets us set up a specific movies folder for our downloads, which we'll also use when setting up Jellyfin. Now let's download a movie by first bringing up ncb.su. As a test, search for Africa Screams, which is a public domain movie that is fine to download. Click the Download NZB button to download the file to your computer. Next, switch back to the Zab NZB tab. Click on the Home button, then click Add NZB. In the pop-up window, click inside the Upload NZB box to bring up the Choose Files to Upload window and select the NZB file you just downloaded and click Upload. From the Category drop-down menu, select Movies to ensure the file is moved to the Movies folder after it's downloaded, then click Add to start downloading the file. You can see that downloading this movie took about two and a half minutes, and I got the six megabit speed that I subscribed for from Usenet.pro. Once the movie is downloaded, we can now start configuring Jellyfin. Head back to DSM and first bring up the Shared Folder control panel. Open the permissions for the download shared folder, select System Internal User, and give the SC Jellyfin user rewrite permissions, just like what you see for the SC Sabin ZBD user. Save the changes, then launch Jellyfin from the main menu. This will launch the Jellyfin setup wizard. Select a preferred display language on the initial screen, then enter in a username and password you would like to use. Next, set up a media library for movies by selecting Add Media Library, select Movies for Content Type, then browse to Volume 1, Downloads, Complete, Movies as a folder path, and click OK. Click Next through the following screens and click Finish to complete the setup. You can now log in to Jellyfin and if everything worked correctly, you should see the movie that was just downloaded through Zab and ZBD as a recently added movie. You can now start watching it and repeat the process for any other movies you would like to add to your media library. Hopefully this setup worked well for you and if it did, consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel for more tutorials. Also, if you'd like to set up a completely automated media server, check out the video listed on screen. Lastly, if you'd like to support my work or hire me to help you set up a media server on your NAS, you can contact me by checking out the link on screen or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.